Batman! Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the HK Guide here on YouTube. My name is Cartman and I'm going to show you the probably most DPS oriented HK build out there. The one that I use very often which is pretty pretty damn good I'd say. Um, AKA Snipebot. Um, so yeah, if you're actually interested in seeing this build in uh, some real action, make sure to hit that link in the video description below. And um, without a long speech, I guess we're going um, ahead and get started here. Now we're gonna go for HK, obviously. So, um, yeah. So, at the start of a match, you'll get a skill point and you'll wanna invest it as wisely as possible. So what you want to go for here, probably for the first, or what I go for here in first place is um, for um, charge rounds here. Now RMB here without without charge rounds is just a simple shot. Now if I could actually hit it, you know, um, but it, with charge rounds you can charge basically the shot and leave it go whenever you feel um, you need to leave it go. So basically charge and you'll deal uh, more damage when it's charged fully, obviously. Now after that. Upgrade, I'd go for Mortal Law, which is Mortal Explosion deals 40% more damage, which is pretty damn nice because Mortar is Mortar and I love it. Um, so yeah. After that, we're gonna go ahead and... Now he here's where you need to figure out what, what comp you're playing against. If you feel like you need the defensive abilities, you need to, to be able to basically... Um, have, a, have an answer on the enemy trip, Taito, or whatever, or if you're just being constantly pressured low, you want to go for Siege Mode, which is, while well, fortified, you'll gain a 400 HP shield, so basically you can just, if, if you're low, if, if there's a trip on you, and if you're kind of pressured, you can just sit into fortify, and you'll get the, the armor, right? So you um, can tank a lot of more damage, and you'll have time to res uh, for uh, your teammates to come in and support you. Um, that's what I usually go for. If there's like zero pressure on you, you feel you can uh, feel free to go for rapid recalibration, um, which is fortifying gives a 10% damage boost to all uh, LMB. Now most of the time I'm kind of forced to, or I uh, just feel kind of naked without siege mode. So I, most of the time I go for siege mode here. Um, after that, we're gonna go ahead and um, upgrade um, rapid fire, which is increased on. Uh, rate of uh, basically increased rate of fire, which is um, really good. It both uh, changes the the fire in uh, fortified and unfortified, so you'll deal uh, or you'll shoot 15% faster even in fortified mode. So yeah, it's pretty dope. Um, after that, I always go for parallel output, which is while fortified your chest gun fires while you charge your railgun. But if you feel like you can never really go fortified without being, you know, completely nuked, you can go for armor piercing, which is charge uh, shots on RMB, pierce through enemies and penetrate 50% of their armor, which is even more damage for RMB. But what, usually I go for a parallel output, which um, allows me to do this. I can fortify, uh, charge up my RMB without stopping the fire and then boom, you know. So yeah, that's what I usually go for. <clears throat> then after that, we get our skill specialization. Uh, most of the time, I go for heat transfer, which is RMB minus two seconds cooldown. Plus, during clash or uh, during clash, you'll inflict extended burn, uh, 50 damage um, per second for five seconds on burning foes, which is a total of 250 damage, and it really helps you finish people off. So, this is my recommendation on going what um, uh, regarding basically skill specialization. Um, this combined with um, Kaboom Box, which is on impact creates a burning area for four seconds. The mortar is just, it's just like the combination you want to go for on HK, which is like you, you basically he's he's burnt now, and during clash you'll hit him. Bam! Oh wow! If I could actually uh, hit that, you'll get um, another 250 damage because of the burns on him, and you'll most likely finish him off when he tries to run away because 250 in damage in conditions is uh, kind of rough to handle um, to handle or to deal with as a uh, squishy hero for example so after we've upgraded this 
I probably most of the time go for Stonewall even further, like e even even before I go for probably Kaboom Box and then and, and this uh, or uh, these other trades. You want to consider go for Stonewall if you feel you're getting pressured way too low all the time. If you feel like you need more more uh, survival ability. Um, if you feel like you need more against those Taito, those trip because they keep critting you and they keep wrecking your ass. Go for Stonewall even before choosing the other traits I just have chosen. Um, Shredder is a trait you go for very very rarely. Me, I've probably never or probably once gone for it because I've... Well, probably a few matches you're not getting pressured at all, then you can go for Shredder. But most of the time there will be a Taito trip up your ass and you need that Stonewall because you're immune to critical hits which basically makes you the tank. HK really is, you know. So, basically with this, after this, um, you want to consider Iron Skin or um, Hero's Vitality, depending on whether the enemy comp position they're running is condition-based or DPS or damage, you know, instant damage-based. Now, if there's only conditions, you won't get much out of Iron Skin because conditions such as bleeding, such as burning, such as poison are armor-ignoring, so armor won't give you a dime, you know. Uh, then you want to go for Hero's Vitality, but if there's rarely or basically you're never fighting a really condition-based player, if there is no bleeds, no burns, whatever, um, if there's only, you know, instant DPS or instant damage, you want to go for Iron Skin because you won't get as much value out of Hero's Vitality if you're facing full damage comps as if you would get with, uh, as if you uh, get with Iron Skin. Uh, so yeah. <clears throat> um, so probably most of the time it comes down to, um, as I said, composition-wise, whether the enemy team is condition or damage oriented, but most of the time I go for um, um, Iron Skin because there's always a trip, there's always a ti most of the time, always a title. All, um, yeah, yeah, so you want to be prepared for that uh, damage to come in and you want to be um, even more tank with a 5 iron. But, uh, plus 5 iron, plus 5 armor, Jesus. So yeah, you'll be more tank against uh, instant DPS, basically, instant damage. So after that, you uh, want to consider going for high caliber rounds or ballistic accelerator. Now, for me, most of the time is probably high caliber rounds more uh, useful because um, I feel like if you're fortifying or if you're trying to get a wound, you need to go kind of near the wound, right? So you'll get basically a bonus damage out of high caliber rounds um, on the enemy. So that's probably the choice I would go for. If you want to go for, if you if you feel like you're only facing rage heroes such as Imani, Beckett, and, and, and th this stuff, and you feel like you're dealing not enough damage, go for a ballistic accelerator, which basically uh, makes you deal all the LMB. Uh, uh, um, hits um, regardless of range the same amount of damage so uh, but most of the time I'd go for high caliber runs here um, so yeah so now it's the only trade that's missing is shock absorbers or earth mover on fortify um, most of the time I go for shock absorbers like if if, if there's a if if there's a Vu, like let's say you're on a ledge fortified like this and there's a Vu pulling you all the time into the enemy team and you're dying you need to go for shock absorbers um, you probably only go for earth mover if you feel like there's only ranged ranged heroes in the enemy team which kinda um, is a pain in the ass sometimes for HK if you feel like you need that reflection when you go fortified go for earth mover but most of the time I'd go for shock absorber it's good against trip it's good against Taito it's good against you know basically Voo. It's, it's good against basically um, every hero which uh, is um, kinda um, you know, uh, based on interrupts or interrupting an enemy and all that stuff, so yeah. That'd be probably just go. So yeah, this was my HK build here. Um, I use this build very often, you can trust me, it works out, at least for me, really well. I, I just completely wreck these people sometimes, it's just, it's just, it's just so satisfying to wreck people with HK, especially with the RMB, you can just snipe them like this, bam. Uh, so yeah, this was uh, my uh, HK guy. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure
to check out my Twitter, which is just Viper Guild Wars 2, make sure to check out my Twitch, which is at uh, twitch.tv slash cartman. Make sure to leave a comment, like, or subscription on uh, YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later.